What's up guys, Scott from MusculoStrength.com here. So does it seem like lately everyone's ditching their bro splits and push-pull leg workouts and jumping on the full body train, myself included? But why? Because it's a trending search term for videos on YouTube? Or because there's actually a lot of truth behind multiple growth periods in that forcing your body to adapt to a much more demanding high frequency workload can help you build more muscle? Well, if you're still not convinced, in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys five reasons why switching might be the best decision you make for your gains. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about my own experience as well. So reason number one, like we just said, multiple growth periods. Now this is probably the most important concept you guys need to understand, and we've talked about it before. In short, two people doing the same amount of total working sets will have very different results based on when they do those sets. In this 2019 study, 18 men were split into two groups, and before the study began, they tested their one rep max for the bench press, back squat, and machine close grip seated row. After testing, one group trained with bro splits and the other trained with full body five days a week. At the end of the eight weeks, there were no real measurable differences in strength gains between the two groups, but they did note that the full body training group may have experienced a potentially superior hypertrophic effect. To put it simply, instead of having to annihilate your chest with four sets of five different exercises, you can actually create more growth with just four sets of one exercise across five days. The goal here being more about stimulating the chest and keep stimulating it all while pushing your muscles to adapt to a more intense training frequency. Protein synthesis only lasts for 24 to 48 hours, guys. That's your growth window. So no matter how many hours you spend in the gym on chest day, after two days, your chest is recovered and done growing. Also, as we know, compound movements like the bench press allow us to overload with more weight when compared to isolation type movements like the pec deck or dumbbell flies. And we usually move from compounds to isolation exercises in a bro split because as we become fatigued, in order to keep the workout moving and somewhat effective, we need to switch to exercises that don't require as much energy output. But with full body, there's absolutely no reason why you can't bench every workout. You might be a little sore, but after a warm-up set or two, your overall strength will still allow you to overload your chest way more than you ever could with the pec deck or dumbbell fly. The main takeaway here, guys, is understanding that you're still training with the same amount of overall volume. But with full body training, the frequency of your training increases from one day a week to up to five days a week with more work and recovery intervals within that same amount of training volume. Which brings me to the reason number two, recovery. As a beginner, you can only handle so much before your body is too sore to move. And as you get older, chances are your overall recovery isn't what it used to be anymore. Not everyone can handle back-to-back -back workouts even though they aren't working the same muscle groups. But with full body, you'll get at least one day off between each full body workout, allowing not only your muscles to recover, but your central nervous system as well. Too often we get overexcited to train and make gains that we forget about the number one thing we actually need to grow, and that's rest and recovery. Take me for example, in my younger years, if I missed a day at the gym while bro split training, I'd freak out. And it was for a few different reasons. Number one, because mentally, I felt like I was being lazy, first of all, and it never really crossed my mind that resting was letting my body recover and grow. I know, I was very stubborn in my youth. <laughs> and number two, if I missed a day, that meant my entire schedule for the week got pushed forward. So if Tuesday was arm day, and I missed Tuesday, and Wednesday was leg day, what do you do? Skip leg day, right? <laughs> Especially if you already have plans for the weekend and can't make up for that lost day. And I'm sure many of you guys can relate. But with full body training, you don't have this problem, guys. You can train three days a week or even up to five days a week and still have time to recover and grow. And if you miss a workout, all you have to do is move your schedule forward a day. Unlike bro splits, this doesn't affect your week because all of your workouts are full body. Also, there's no schedule that's written in blood that you absolutely have to follow when full body training. If you're feeling too sore to train today, you can just take it as another rest day or maybe even an active rest day where you train with some cardio and focus a bit more on stretching or mobility work. Always remember that when you're resting, you're letting your muscles adapt and recover and those are two very good things for muscle growth. Even on an active rest day, you're still technically recovering and for a lot of you, 
an active rest day may be just what you need to kick up the cardio, or more importantly, your abs training. Because I know a lot of you skip abs at the end of your workouts. You know who you are, Ricky. Reason number three, quality versus quantity. Now, this is something that I think is going to convince a lot of you to try full body training, as it's actually a huge source of motivation for me as well. When you arrive at the gym on chest day, for example, or chest and triceps day, when bro split training, you already know that you have at least four to five chest exercises you need to complete, and then an additional two to three triceps movements as well. And if I'm being honest, this never really used to bother me. I love training, especially chest and tricep day. But on days where maybe you're tired or don't have a lot of time, or maybe you're just sick of hitting all the same exercises, you can lose motivation. It happens. It might not even be a conscious thing, but sometimes we find ourselves not pushing too hard only to ensure we have enough energy to make it through all the exercises for each body part. But with full body, you have one to two exercises max per body part, which for me is actually extremely motivating. I find myself hitting each exercise harder because I know that when I'm done, I'm gonna move to a different body part. It's exciting, right? Well, if you're into that sort of thing, maybe not all of you get that excited. But seriously, guys, if all you have to do is five quality sets of a bench press, chances are you're going to be more motivated to push as hard as you can on each set because you don't have to have any gas left in your tank for four more chest movements. Reason number four, it's hard to mess up the basics. Compound movements like pull-ups, squats, deadlifts, bench press, and bent over rows are staples in most workout programs for a reason. And that reason is because they have passed the test of time proving to be muscle builders. There is no need to reinvent the wheel, and that especially holds true for full body training. Because you're only training with one to two exercises max per body part, you don't need to get overly creative. Just keep it simple and stick with what works. Of course though, in time, you might wanna learn more advanced techniques or different variations of the same movements, and that's fine, but seriously, master the basics first. You can train with these exercises for years and years and still see muscle and strength gains. But don't mistake simplicity with ineffectiveness. Being creative isn't always a good thing. That's why we have Insta Garbage. And just because full body workouts may come across as simple, it doesn't mean they're for beginners. You guys are the ones who are in charge of how intense your workouts are how much weight you lift, how long you rest, and how much time you spend chatting or goofing off on your phone in the gym will all determine how intense your workouts are. And this actually brings me to my fifth and final reason for full body training. And that is, it's working for me. But before we jump into my experience with full body training, if you guys are enjoying the video, be sure to tap that like button. The overlords at YouTube are still hacking my channel and not sending new video notifications to all of you. So getting more likes is really the only way to help boost the algorithm. So don't forget, tap that like button and thank you very much for the support. Also, I'm gonna talk a bit about how I'm combining nuclear overload training with my full body training. And because I'm currently targeting traps with power shrugs, I wanna give away five pairs of easy grips. Since I started using them, I've pretty much ditched my traditional wrist straps. And when lifting heavy, they feel much better on the wrists and you can actually wrap them around the barbell much faster too. So if you guys want to enter, all you have to do is two things. Number one, comment below if you think the Joker was just telling a story because he's crazy or if you think everything that happened in the movie was real because I finally got to watch it last week and I loved it and I think everything that happened except for the path where they showed it wasn't real everything else definitely happened and number two super easy like I am bull strength on Instagram and tag a friend as you comment on this post and as always guys if you want to pick up anything right now from their site make sure you use my code MS10 for 10% off the entire site all right so if you haven't been keeping up with my weekly workout vlogs first of all go watch them Ricky's doing some amazing editing in there I'm actually quite impressed I didn't think he was capable of actually doing that good of a job but I'm proud of you I'm proud of you Ricky that's for making fun of me in the last video. <laughs> I made the, so I made the switch to full body about five weeks ago. And as I was researching nuclei overload, I came to the conclusion based on all the studies that I read that I hadn't reached my natural limit yet. But I have in fact only reached the limit of what programs like push-pull legs, upper-lower, and bro splits could offer me. 
I had never done a program where I trained full body four to five days a week, and I believe that increased frequency will produce more gains. And since starting, here's what I have experienced so far. Number one, I'm a lot more excited for my workouts. I enjoy having a short checklist for each body part, and because of that, I find myself pushing harder on my sets. Number two, the first two weeks were tough as my body was adjusting to the increased frequency, but all I did to overcome my fatigue was listen to my body and it said two things, feed me more food and give me more rest. So now as a result of this, I'm eating a lot more, closer to 3,300 to 3,500 calories compared to the 2,500 I was eating before, and I don't feel all this pressure to go to the gym all the time. What I mean is, I don't have a fear of missing a workout anymore because every workout is full body and if I'm tired, I rest, I eat, and I just train the following day. Number three, and I think this is going to interest a lot of you guys, I get the absolute best pumps I've probably ever had in my life now. Before, it would take like two to three exercises before that like real good pump feeling would settle in. But now, by the second or third set of any exercise I'm doing, the pump kicks in and it kicks in hard. Number four, I can experiment with more training techniques now because I'm training full body four to five days a week. If for example, I feel too sore to lift heavy, I can switch up my training utilizing the same exercises, but instead of lifting heavy for eight to 10 reps per set, I can focus on a drop set or superset, like in the last workout vlog we posted on Sunday. With techniques like these, I'm placing more emphasis on metabolic stress versus mechanical tension. As for my fifth reason, I feel like I no longer have to choose between cardio or weight training. Guys, I enjoy doing things like adventure racing and would like to start doing them again. But in order to be ready, I need to have days where I go for like a five to six mile run. In the past, I would feel like I was skipping a day if I was bro split training. But with full body, my cardio can be considered an active rest day. And the sixth and final thing I wanna share with you guys, and probably the best thing about full body training is that I'm starting to actually see growth again. Now guys, I'm natural, so you're not gonna see an insane transformation. But overall, if you compare my recent photos and videos to a few months ago, my muscles look a lot more full, and I'm noticing more size in my shoulders and traps, and because I'm currently nuclear overload training with my shoulders and calves, I can easily adjust my workout so I can do my 100 power shrugs and my 100 barbell calf raises in the morning, and when I train at night, I just take those exercises out of my program. It's that simple. But you guys don't have to take my word for it. Try it for yourselves for a few weeks and see how you feel. I'll drop a link to my full body evolution program down in my pinned comment below. And each workout has its own follow along video going over exercise form and technique. And you can even print out the workout calendar and the PDF version of each workout to bring with you to the gym or you can just follow along on my app, whatever's easiest for you. Just don't be one of those people who's frozen in time and unwilling to try something new. It's not just me seeing the benefits of full body training, pretty much everyone who's tried it is raving about it, and in time, I know you guys will too. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. Hey guys, I'll drop a link to my latest vlog over here on the right if you wanna see some of my more recent workouts, and for those of you who want to try my program, Full Body Evolution, just click the link down below to download my app, Muscular Strength. I'll see you there.